Here we go. <gasps> Look at him. He's so happy. I don't know if he's happy. You don't he's think, gonna I think take Melman out. You're gonna take We're him gonna, out? You're gonna kill Melman? Take, I wanna take Melman out back like old Yeller. <laughs> I'm gonna find you then. <laughs> I'm gonna take Melman out back like old Yeller. Why? What did Melman do? Does Melman have rabies? Isn't that what happened to old Yeller? You got rabies? I don't know. Let's talk about this game though. <laughs> So, okay. I think with this TSG, their best bet is to just run at Fusion and sit on him the entire game and just leave Adela to survive by himself. And uh, if Adela does a good job, it, it can be really hard for a balance and Jeff to actually land a kill on him if he rotates his cooldown properly. But if he doesn't, he actually will just explode instantly. And it okay. looks like balance is going to immediately charge in into Adela, but Adela just in-capping him and running away. Yeah, he laid his port right on top of Adela's though, and there's tons of damage coming out onto Fusion right now, as well as Jeff, Lyric's cleaving them down with that recklessness. They're trying to connect to Adela, but you're saying he's just going to kite back and forth. He portals away. He did switch his portal, but Bounce switched his as well, finally getting on top of Adela, going for the Fist of Fury damage now onto him, but his team is just dying in the background. He's trying to solo Adela. The Cheat Torpedo's coming out for damage as well. They're just crushing him. He's going to be able to get away to the center of the map finally, but he gets gripped back. Uh, Jeff has a word with him. It's going to force the Life Cocoon. Luckily, he got that before the Strangulate. Yeah, that's perfect. And uh, Balance using those Chi Torpedoes offensively is going to mean he doesn't have them to actually chase Adela on his Chi Torpedoes. So that's something else to keep in mind. Adela needs to be careful and make sure he relays his port, which he did. He runs across the entire map, and now he has a port safely away from Balance's Transcendence. And meanwhile, Fusion taking a lot of damage. Uh, saved by the Light procking. His wings have already faded. He could be in a lot of trouble. If they can uh, keep up this pressure on him, it might actually end up being his bopper. Bubble down to 60% HP, getting out those heals, spamming out the Word of Glories, no. but... Oh, greedy. He's being really, really greedy. He might end up paying off for him. Down to 10% HP. Spamming out Flash of Light. Catches a huge heal. And the greed paying off for Fusion there. And uh, it looks like uh, Lyrics is having a really tough time connecting on a Fusion. Fusion actually deciding to use um, this bop on that Asphyxiate. It does get purged off by Valido. Pillar of Frost is fading. Black Jeff in trouble, though. Lyrics is cleaving him down very hard. Fusion gets locked out at 30%. Valido might just be able to take him out by himself. Soul Reaper comes up. He's going for more cast at 30%. Adela used the Life Cocoon as well. I'm not sure if Jeff actually stole that. Uh, if he did, he's just barely <laughs> missing that, unfortunately for him. And he's dipping lower and lower. Uh, Fusion, though, has managed to maintain his HP. 1v1ing Valido very well. Finally, into the full Asphyxiate. Strangulate onto Adele. He throws out the leg sweep, uh, leg sweep. And Jeff's going to trinket that to keep the pressure rolling. Uh, but Fusion looks like he's in trouble. Saved by the Light Skinner proc. He had to use the Avenging Wrath. He's finally getting away and finally getting the cast off that he needs to top himself. Yeah, another port on port there by Balance Dell using the Ormast. He's trying to get heals on himself, but he's left alone now with Balance and Black Jeff. He could be in a lot of trouble. The Cheat Torpedo's coming out from Balance there. Adela really doesn't have too much left. He, he only has his Trinket available as well as port, but he does get some heals off because uh, Lyrics came back and peeled for him. Jeff taking a little bit of damage right now, but they need to reconnect on a Fusion if they can. Adela using that Transcendence to get away, but he is caught into the middle of the map, caught into a full Hodge. He might have to Trinket this, the bubble coming out. I'm not sure if Jeff stole that. I don't think he did. Uh, but uh, Adela having a really hard time topping himself off, and if we look, he only has his trinket left. Reckless is coming out onto Fusion, though he did recently get locked out at 20% HP. He might have to use his bubble here shortly at 14%. He's dipping so low, he's going to bubble at 17%. Uh, Lyric's not going for the Shatter, just going to swap off here, try and peel the melee DPS. Jeff is rotting down to the bleeds at 50% HP. Fusion's managing to line of sight with this sprint. He needs to kite a little longer. Hodge onto Adela. They overlapped with the Strangulate. He's going to Trinket. Uh, he does get DR leg swept, though. Balance trying to finish him off with these aggressive Chi Torpedoes. Fusion trinketing the stun. Uh, Dark Simulacron on him. Not sure what he was trying to steal. He's not going to get anything too meaningful. Uh, Della's managed to recover. His mana's hurting, but Fusion's running out of cooldowns. 40% HP remaining. Paralyzed onto Valido. He's trying to line a sight. Gets some cast off here. He gets charged on, though, by Lyrics. Proccing the save by the light. Absorb. Adela ports away. Uh, balances on his tail. Fusion in desperation mode. Gets stunned on his War Master. He has to use the bop. They purge it instantly, but with that Avenging Wrath, he's going to top himself off. And now Adela could possibly be on the back foot. Yeah, he haven't used that bubble because Balance uses Hurricane Strike there, but he is going to bubble and uh, be able to top himself off. He has Nimble Brew up in 21 seconds as well as his Aura Mastery available. If we look at Fusion, he has nothing. He has no cooldowns left for another minute. Once these wings fades, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Now Adela has his port in a very safe place. He is low on mana, but he does have some uh, mana tea. He could drink if he wanted, but Fusion down to 50% HP. Both Videlo and Lyrics caught up onto him. Balance incapping Adela, putting him into the full legs. We're trying to burst them down right now. Jeff under a lot of pressure 
two though. Uh, Fusion caught into that full fear and it looks like they're going to target down Jaff. Adela gets the port away. Balance having a tough time reconnecting. Uses that flying serpent kick. Gets back to him right away. But Adela's going to hopefully be able to top himself off here. But mana could be a really big issue. Jeff down to 24% HP though. Fusion not in any CC. Going to be able to get out those heals. But Jeff dangerously dipping into execute range. Adela completely oom. Trying to sip those manatees to recover his mana. But Valido and Lyrics also under a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, they're just trading off now. Jeff is chasing Adela around while Balance peels both of the melee DPS. Lyrics doesn't have a lot of cooldowns left if they choose to swap over to him. The, the grip comes in with the strangulate onto Adela. Pillar of Frost getting blown here. He's kiting away, but they're finally going to reconnect here. The next stun could be deadly for him. He doesn't have Trinket for 10 seconds. Full stun comes out from Balance. He's going for the one shot onto him. He's going to get the life cocoon off to absorb all of this damage. Now Black Jeff taking a bunch of counter pressure from Lyrics and Valido. Uh, Lyrics popping the recklessness here. Huge sack not in any CC. He has to deal with the Mind Freeze. Uh, it's not available for three seconds. He's actually going for offensive denounces at this point. Uh, Lyrics dipping at 50%. Adil is finally tapped on mana. Avenging Wrath coming out from Fusion. He's trying to finish the game, get his team top, get them offensive. Yeah, d uh, Balance actually got in cap there by Adele, but it immediately broke. I'm not exactly sure what. Fusion caught into the full fix, though. He does have that Avenging Wrath up. Adele under a lot of pressure, though. Balance on his back right now. Jeff pulling back to help try to save Fusion. S Fusion save of the light did proc, though. Now it's just a one on one situation between Adela and Balance. Jeff coming over onto Adele. He smells blood in the water, but Fusion under a lot of pressure here gets locked out and dies. But this could be a cross kill. Adela getting a port away. Balance on his back, though, putting him into that in cap. Oh. Uh, and Adela does uh -huh. the full asphyxiate leg sweep. He might die here. The full, um, or, or sorry, the bubble coming out to save his life. A beautiful rallying cry coming out from Lyrics too. And uh, that's going to be the game. And like I said, it's a very difficult matchup. Especially if they just there's not too much you can do as a balance and Jeff to get those DPS off fusion. And it comes very, very hard. Interesting. So I noticed that uh, Balance is not running with that, uh, what is it, uh, Storm, Earth, and Fire? Is that what that ability is called? Where he puts you like it. always have. <laughs> it's not a talent. Oh. But yeah. Interesting. So. He, yeah. He never, like, uh, when I watch him play, he rarely uses it. He prefers more of the, like, the single target style. All right. There it is. So the very first map is going to go to Our Monk Sucks. And the TSG is going to pull it out. It is the best of three series here, though, guys. And Melman goes to Alaska, does have some work to do if they want to advance in the winner's bracket. No memento, my loading screen is slow. Sewers. Don't, I'm slow, please. Melman, give me your giraffe speed to make my loading screen faster. Do giraffes run fast? What? Giraffes? I have no idea. Yeah, actually they do. They're one of the fastest uh, land mammals on Earth. Makes sense that a Windwalker would want a giraffe pet then, right? Yeah. Whoa. Can keep up with them? They can ro reach top speeds up to like 40 uh, miles an hour, which is pretty crazy. Oh, good. It instantly dq That's good. I'm still not loaded. Yeah. My computer apologizes. <laughs> Stupid computer. Oh, he was running Frost, not Unholy? Oh, which DK? There's two DKs. Oh, I, I don't know which DK you're referring to. Giraffes run faster than cheetahs? I don't... I don't think that's true. <laughs> I can literally crack myself up. <laughs> I don't BS. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, computer. This is going out on a limb here. I'm just going to say no. Oh, I guess I, I have a little bit of time to uh, shout out some friends. We got a $15 donation from Melroth90. He said, thank you for everything you do for the community. Thank you so much, Melroth. I really do appreciate that, man. Every dollar that we receive goes directly towards future tournament prize pools. So we can keep this, this thing. this animal planet. <laughs> so we can keep this thing going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. Thank you so much for that donation, brother. I'm closing this. I can't have the stream open. Apparently, my computer's going to die. Right. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's not loading. What do I do? Do I just alt that four? Give up? I don't know, man. I, I don't even know what's happening. On the way out, it's dude. all over super tedious. This is what it looks like. This you is. Can you walk into another is this character? What happens when you die? <laughs> you just get a loading screen that never finishes. Oh my gosh, this is deep, man. Why is this deep? I'm alt that four. <laughs> you just said, is this what happens when you die? Or, or, oh, did you mean like in game? Okay, don't don't wait for me anywhere. D machine, you go. I'm gonna relog. You go. You do right. it. 
I'm gonna cast. This is. I don't know what's going on. You I'm go. Preemptively apologize to you all. The next map is gonna be Dalaran Sewers, everybody. We're gonna jump right into this, and here we go. As Super T's figures out what's wrong with his potato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. I thought you were about to like burst out into song. There that's for that's a the song. That's the song. That's the whole song. No, oh, there's more to it, but I didn't know if I should keep going. I thought that you were doing the intro. Hesitation, man. <laughs> His mom was yelling at him in that. What, what is happening? All right, anyway, guys, here we go. This is the second game of this best of three series between these two teams. We have the Windwalker DK Holy Valley going up against the DK Warrior Mistweaver Monk. Interesting. Interesting. So on a, on a map like Dalaran Sewers, uh, I mean, we've seen this very monk do a fantastic job kiting around uh, on this map specifically. So uh, Yeah, we, we I mean, I think what he'll end up doing is having his port in the middle of the platform, and that yeah. way he can go down on any side he wants and port up and then use one Chi Torpedo to get to the entire side of the platform entire other side of the platform so we'll have to see how he does he's gonna run in immediately put that port in the middle um, like I said and it looks like um, the shockwave coming out um, from lyrics there balance gonna use his nimble brew on that uh, using the storm earth and fire onto Adela right away as he just caught into storm earth and fire and Adela getting targeted down he actually using chi explosion balance uh, switched his talents up completely here black Jeff under a lot of pressure uh, at the moment though fusion caught into that full fear at the moment and uh, it looks like they're just trying to pressure down Adela with the image, but it's not really accomplishing too much at the moment. Yeah, Fusion taking so, so much pressure, get, putting into that DR leg sweep, Execution Tens coming out from him. He does have that Soul Reaper ticking on him, and he's dropping down to 50% healthier. There's the Wings and the Aura Mastery coming out, but Adela on the background, he's getting uh, stunned up here, taking a whole bunch of damage from this image. And it's it's becoming difficult for both of these teams to try to maintain through this cleave pressure, but looks like Fusion's going to be okay for now. The Double Shockwave goes out into Black Jeff and Balance, peeling them off of Lyrics, but Lyrics now taking a whole bunch of damage from that Fist of Fury. And Adela is keeping him offensive here for now, but I don't know. I feel like if this continues, if the cleave versus cleave continues, uh, the advantage I think is going to go to the uh, the Windwalker DK. But you know, I'm not sure here. Videlo now taking a bit of pressure, dropping down to 50% health here. The double fist of fury coming out from Balance. The leg sweep from Adela goes on to Balance. Now Fusion taking a whole bunch of damage. He's going to use that wall, uh, and he's going to have to trinket out of that stun instantly. But he's still in a lot of trouble here. He's trying to get away from uh, not using his bubble. He still uh, it has that available to him, and it looks like he's going to be okay for now. Yeah, Della, actually the biggest concern for him at the moment, um, as he does use that revival, is his mana. I mean, he's down to already 48% mana, uh, getting punched up a little bit uh, at the moment, throwing that life cocoon onto Lyrics Fusion. If you look at his cooldowns, he has a bubble as well as two bops available, but no trinket, and he's probably going to have to bubble there. And that means in the next 30 seconds, I mean, as soon as his bubble phase, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He has no cooldowns to carry him forward to that next bop. Meanwhile, Balance deciding to uh, take back his image and get onto Adela. Um, but he does decide just to put that image back onto Adele. I guess he was just running over because he wanted to keep that up onto him. Uh, but Fusion in a lot of trouble, like I said, gets caught into the full asphyxiate. He has no cooldowns left uh, until that forbearance fades. He has like another seven seconds before he can get that pop up. The, the wings coming out, but Saber the Light procking there as well. Adela caught into the Hodge at the moment. But they, this uh, Windwalker DK has a lot of pressure right now. Adela low, Lyrics low. Uh, Adela finally able to top himself off. Tops off his entire team, in fact. And now Fusion is the one in trouble. Yeah, Fusion dipping down constantly from this uh, TSG team, but his mana is completely fine versus Adela. I feel like if Fusion is capable of keeping alive here, the end game result is going to be in his favor. But Black Jeff taking a bit of cleave damage from this TSG lyrics. Uh, Black Jeff going to catch that hand of sacrifice from Fusion. But Fusion now taking pressure once again from Videlo. Uh, he's dipping lower and lower at 50% healthier. But now Adela into that full stun and lyrics put into that full hodge. They're about to do a whole bunch of damage to lyrics. But lyrics coming out of that stun, he's going to get dispelled on it as well. But Fusion so could be in some trouble here. There's a triple leg sweep coming out from. Adela, he wants to get offensive. Execution sentence is going to jump onto Fusion, though. Fusion should be okay through this, but as I'm saying that, he's desperately trying to juke the kick from this double uh, melee, and he's going to get silenced up on it. Yeah, Adela jumping down as Jeff does toward does <laughs> as Jeff does try to connect onto him. Uh, both Jeff and Fusion down to 30% HP right now. Actually, Fusion getting locked out there. Um, 
does finally get away, puts the Hodge onto Adela, who was going to kick him if he did cast, but he's down 25% HP, he's still trying to get away. The Holy Light's coming out, he does get locked on it, and he's going to die because he got locked out. I think he still had a bop available, a little bit of a greedy play there by Fusion, if I'm correct, but uh, that those are well well, well done interrupts on the Fusion there. And uh, Adela, actually, not under too much pressure. I mean, he had cooldowns in response. The biggest concern for Adela that game was this mana. He had cooldowns ready to go throughout the entire game. It was so weird. I saw the lockout go on the Fusion, but I thought he had Aura Mastery up. Uh, I did see the Aura Mastery come up, but I think he might have actually pressed Aura Mastery right after he got locked out. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what happened. He started pressing a cast right before Aura Mastery, and he got locked out on it. He just got kicked instantly. I think it was a fast Holy Light, too. Yeah, it was a fast Divine Light. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Or Holy Light, yeah, that's what it's called now. So, yeah. Wow. So, quick 2-0 coming out from uh, this TSG, and they will advance.